If not installed correctly, your belt will fall off or it can damage multiple components and that can cost you a brand new engine. Stay with us and we'll explain what we're talking about. Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be a super helpful video to any of you having a BMW X3 X4. If you have one of those with a six cylinder engine, you need to find the serpentine belt diagram. Stay with us, we'll explain that in this video today. Everything from start to finish, so make sure you stay until the end. If you don't put it correctly, you can practically destroy the belt. The belt can destroy the cooling system. You can overheat the engine. You may end up buying a new engine or having the engine rebuilt, uh, which can be really expensive. All that will be covered in this video today. Before we start, let me just tell you a little bit about us guys. Every single car we get here at the garage, we try to make at least two to 300 free repair videos. Why we do that? Because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can. All we need guys in return, please subscribe to the channel, like the video, that way we can keep making these absolutely free videos guys. We're constantly getting new cars here at the garage, working on that BMW now. We got a Dodge Challenger that will be working. We have more than 15 vehicles waiting to be shot guys. So videos are coming all the time. If you need help with anything, leave comment below uh, our videos and we'll try to make a video for your problem that way we can help you we can help other people with that problem and we can build a community where we help each other if you need to buy any parts tools for your car at a really good price and quick shipping check out the link in the description of the video below that's where we get all our two supplies from guys and you can save a ton of money so before we continue let me tell you guys every time you're replacing a belt or an idler pulley or tensioner you guys need to do these three things always at the same time because usually they can fail at about the same time or sooner or later and you may be doing the job again and if one of those components fails the belt can easily fall off it can break okay it can break the cooling system if you don't pay attention it can overheat the car sometimes the belt will start uh, falling apart and it can break uh, quite a few things you can get tangled around, around the front crankshaft seal and that can guys okay cause front crankshaft seal uh, failure as well multiple things can go wrong so always replace the belt tensioner uh, tensioner idler pulley and always put new bolts for the tensioner and the idler pulley as well so we get a new belt and the first thing that we're going to do we're going to put it okay around the crankshaft pulley guys that will be the first thing that we'll try to do a uh, new belt maybe a little bit uh, kind of like a life thing it will not want to go here and there because it will be very very flexible then we'll go from there directly to the ac compressor it will go on the bottom okay let's see now what we got here let's see perfect go to the ac compressor now once we guys remove it, uh, 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 install it, excuse me, we're going to show you everything with a great detail. Okay, from here we go down to the, okay. Bob, uh, nope, 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 nope. Okay, I have it installed now here, perfect. Let's go to the tensioner pulley, uh, to the hardware pulley. All the way down to the hardware pulley on this side. That's a very thick belt, by the way, too okay perfect let's pull now and we need to go to the alternator so i'll show you the complete diagram in a second okay let me let me verify that now so we're removing the engine under cover because we can't get it on the crankshaft pulley correctly there is a sensor there that i cannot clearly see my hand is not small enough to go around it so we will need to guys remove it and see from underneath because otherwise we're going to guys damage okay that belt the sensor and that can cost you quite a bit of money so uh, on that specific car here we remove that and now right there is a the crankshaft pulley we can clearly see it i can pass the belt and there is a sensor right there as well so let me get the belt from the top now so we went underneath there were some plastics around it so we needed to push the belt just to go on the crankshaft pulley down there and uh, finally we got it in guys okay uh, make sure you don't pry on the belt or anything like that because it will break it and it will come off so how it goes okay let me explain now from the crankshaft pulley it goes to the ac compressor there to the idle pulley back to the alternator and here to the tensioner and now okay let me go ahead okay and inspect everything on the bottom okay 
That's uh, trying to get a light, but it's impossible, guys. But that's where the belt is, okay? Uh, right there. You can see it. So I'm going to go ahead and remove the tensioner now. I'll get the pliers and remove the spring here. Okay, and see if it's going to get situated now. Make sure it goes in all the canals. If it doesn't, if it's one canal off, the belt will be destroyed. It can break the cooling system here. It can break, guys, phone crankshaft seal, multiple components. So you have to be really, really careful. So <clears throat> we're going to go ahead. Install now. Okay. One second because it's going to come up. Okay, so I'm trying. Okay, can we hold the camera like that? Later, the tensioner will come up. So I need to make sure I leave enough room for the wrench to come up too. Okay, so give me a second. Okay, perfect. And I need to go down. Okay, let me make sure everything's situated. Yep. Ah, that thing is way too tight. Okay, let me see if I will be able to position it up, I guess. Okay, so I'm going to go this way and hopefully we'll have enough clearance here. I hate working on that engine, guys. I'm not kidding. Okay. Now I need a, the. I should have put it the other way. You. Oh, I'm gonna say some ni not so nice words. So I got the wrench ready guys, okay, we got the pliers and we're going to pull it out and come a little bit like that, oh, let it go and now we can remove the tool with the wrench, the improvised here adaptation. Now it's the time to make sure that the belt aligns everywhere. It goes from the crankshaft pull to the AC compressor. Make sure that everything is aligning correctly before you start it, otherwise you're going to destroy your belt and you can break other things as well. So uh, now keep away, but we're going to start the vehicle. Always start it with the garage door open for only a few seconds and inspect the belt to make sure that everything's going good because otherwise it can break it or it can cause other damages if it falls off or it's half uh, way installed. So let's go ahead, start it now. Yep, perfect guys, right on the spot. So hopefully, okay, that will be a good advice. So that's how you guys uh, uh, install the belt. That's the serpentine belt diagram on BMW X3 X4 with 6-cylinder engine. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to let us know. Hopefully the video is helpful to any of you looking for that, guys. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. We'll be more than glad to make a video for your specific problem when we have time, guys. Okay, to do that. Uh, and if you uh, again want to see something, you need help, just drop a comment below. And if we have time, we'll make the video. Thank you for watching and see you next time.